Hey bodies, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon. Today we're doing our setup plan review the game for sale. If you're watching on Board Game Arena, we're using cars, but actually we are playing with houses on Board Game Arena. Check out my Board Game Arena playlist. You're going to have $28,000 each, and you're trying to make the most money by bidding and auctioning and trying to grab yourself advisors. You're then trying to use those advisors the best you can to try and get yourself various cars. Or again, it's going to be property in the regular game found on Board Game Arena, and then selling those cars to try and get yourself the most money again most money from checks and money left over is going to be the winner of the game this is a game for three to six players ages 10 plus takes 30 minutes to play and i've got this eagle griffin games version in front of me check my various other videos for eagle griffin 2 and there you go that is the insert they're going to be using so you can play this as a two i will be talking about a two-player variant i have played it and i'll talk about that afterwards so in this particular game, let's say we're starting off, let's say we're randomizing and saying who last bought a car or a house or something, and then define who's gonna be trying to get what. If you were watching this as a short, you're now watching the full video over on YouTube or wherever else you're watching it. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So let's say we're playing as a three, we're revealing three cards. Now these happen to be quite high cards. It was randomly distributed though, and I can choose to bid. Let's say I bid first, let's say I bid one. Let's say the next person bids and increases their bid to two, and this person goes, I don't know, go straight up for five. Now I could choose to pass. So I choose to pass, I get the lowest value one, and that's it, so I get this and it goes face down. I lose half of my bid rounded down, in which case I lose everything in this case. And this person has a bid of two, and let's say they increase their bid, so they've got to go higher than this person's bid. So yeah, they fall so up to four, five, and six. This person goes, no, I'm gonna drop out. So they get half their money back rounded down, so now they're gonna get two back from the bank. And now they've taken this one face down. This person's left in it. Now they're gonna win this card, but they must pay all of their money. So all of that is gonna go out. But now they've got that particular card, which you never know, could be useful. You're gonna keep on playing until the entire deck of advisors is gone, but you will be removing some from the beginning of the game. So in a four player game, you're removing two cards from the advisor pile, two from the car or obviously property pile, and two of these checks as well. But it does vary. So in a three, you're removing six of each, etc. And if you're playing with five or six players, you're gonna have a few amount of cash as well. You're gonna have $20,000 each. So imagine we've got some cards. So now we've obviously got a few cards left, and now we're gonna start bidding with these cards. So let's just say we just have what we had a second ago. We've gone through all those cards, and we've got some cash left over. We've now revealed three more cards. And this case, I think we should oh, shuffle them a bit more, but let's just say we stick with these. And now we're gonna go again, so reveal. So all at the same time in this case. That person had revealed 27, this person had 24, and of course I had 22. So this time round, I'm going to be getting the lowest value vehicle. So I get a 17 car, and that's going into my hand. This happens to have a gray background. So it's useful for the end game. You can tell it's useful for the end game because it's got the little trophy symbol. Other than that, unless you see a turquoise card come up, they're not used anymore. They're literally used to buy a card and that is it. And I'll tell you more a bit about these cards in a second. So this person, of course, uh, would get the highest. That person would get the second highest. So again, there's no more using of your cash for now, perhaps. Keep on going until finally we get around to the check phase. So again, we're gonna have three checks visible. So we have $3,000, $2,000, and another 2,000. Not very interesting going here, but maybe we chuck out a 7,000 instead, and let's bring him into a nice order. So now we reveal our cards, and I happen to have my 17, again, all at the same time simultaneous. So in this case, I'd get the lowest value. This person gets this. These cards go away, and at the minute, I'm getting 2,000 at the end, 3,000 and 7,000. So you might think, well, that's fine. Okay, so this person had a high value card. Maybe they're gonna win, but of course, they maybe got through more cash and you will be talking about other different advisors. So if you have a turquoise background, they're going to come into play during the uh, cash phase, which is during this check phase. You may play two vehicles. When all of the vehicles are played, you're gonna take one back. So maybe I played two vehicles, such as a level one and a 22. By, by the way, the values go from one to 30 for the, these advisors and for the cars. These cars go from void up to $15,000. So I might play two, keep one back, my total score is 23, which in this case might be better than their score of 12 if I was only gonna play that card. So those cards are used one and done, then they're discarded. And as you can see, we have a mechanic here as well, also turquoise, also used for this phase, hence the background. If you offer the lowest value vehicle, take the second lowest. So I might play the one, and it's not much in this case, I get $3,000, but imagine it was 2,000, 12,000, 15,000, well that's a pretty nice card to have. Again, you can only use it on one of your kind of bids, and then of course it's spent. 
So I can briefly take you through what these various advisors do, but everything is listed on the back here. But when we do sport and pause it or ask me any questions in YouTube is best. Like I said, comment there because this does get shared as I mentioned earlier. So this is a low value card. If you take this association, so if you do it for a low bid, you get all your money back instead of half. That's quite nice. Again, if you do this, when you take a thousand dollars and play it to your right, if you pay $3,000 when you play this card, you can increase it to 31. So it might be quite good if you want to get a decent car. We've seen Mechanic already. If you pay $3,000, so you want to keep some cash back, again, you can increase your value, get all your money off, get all your money back. Mechanic, we've already seen. Lawyers, we've seen. Your lowest value check is worth $11,000. Pretty handy to have this gray card. For each remaining $1,000 you have left, you're just going to score an additional thousand. So all of that would be doubled. And you can have multiple of these as well. This one is, you're going to choose one check worth between 2,000 and 9,000 doublets. And as you can see, there's a nice variety of stuff going on. The cards are just standard stuff, but just briefly telling you about some of these, obviously, check cards. As I said, 14,000, 10,000, we've got 14,000, but there are a couple of voids in here, which you might not want. But remember, with those right, uh, right advisor cards, they can be worth maybe 14,000 or whatever. So huge jumps can occur and... Very fun game. The first time you play it, you're gonna go, eh, how do I do this? But nearly everyone I've played it with said, all right, okay, I get it. So it's rinse and repeat. You're gonna auction to try and grab yourself advisors. Spend those advisors, obviously the higher the better, to get higher the better cards, uh, cars, and then or property. Higher the better property or cars means you can get better uh, checks. Better checks means you get more cash, more likelihood of winning. That is the game. Like I said, do remember to assign your checks in that final round. Again, one per card, one per check and make sure you keep out uh, your your cash at the end as well. So add that together, plus your check value, of course, with any kind of gray modifiers. Lastly, that two player variance, what's gonna happen is you're gonna take your cash each, the other person, they literally start off, so the automist starts off. By the way, whoever wins each round is going to be leading off as the next bidder, so just be aware of that. But with this particular one, what you're gonna be doing is flipping this card over, you're gonna reveal a card for them, and in this case, if they happen to reveal a card that happens to be low, then what's gonna happen is they're going to be passing. So between zero and five, they're going to pass. If it's between six and 10, you're gonna increase your bid by 1,000. So they're gonna keep on increasing. And if it's above 11,000, you're gonna bid 2,000. So that's something to be aware of. They're always gonna keep on bidding, but if it's low, they could be passing. So you never know what they're going to be playing. That's pretty much the premise of the game, but there's a QR code for a bit more detail if you need it. And of course you can ask me too. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. Obviously, make sure you check out my various playlists, such as the BJ playlist that had a setup play and review playlist. This is going in the Family Rate playlist, that board game review playlist. And also, um, I would say my rating for this is 7 out of 10. It's very good, higher than average. Check, of course, out my Fleet the Dice game video and Fleet as well, where you'll find uh, my ratings and explanations to that too. Very nice pieces. I uh, like the art very much. People seem to really actually dig that. Although one negative would be the fact you can't always see values against that kind of yellow background with this kind of rose kind of pink tint. But yeah, speak again soon. And again, this was from Essen. So check out my Essen playlist too. Enjoy the game. Back to the table.